Head coach Buffalo Bills against one-time Bill linebacker was an outstanding player for them, Jimmy Hazlitt, and the surprising Western winners in the NFC a year ago, the New Orleans Saints. Rob Johnson, get used to this recurring theme, intercepted by Sammy Knight. Good night, returns it to the 46-yard line, but if Buffalo leads at the end of the half, 6 nothing. their defense, the new 4-3 defense, playing very stoutly as you thought they would. Aaron Brooks came on to sparkle late in the year, starting Saints quarterback, and look at Albert Cottle! Go up for it and make the juggling catch over Ken Irvin. 46 yarder gives the Saints a 7 6 lead in the third. Johnson to Jay Reamer. Reamer's move is overthrown, and it's Knight, his second in the game. He would have his third, which ties a Saint record, and this just sailed, Tommy. Well, you look at the coverage, and this really redefines overthrowing the receiver. Rob actually overthrew him by about 10 yards. Reamer's thought he was throwing the ball to someone else beyond him. He was not. It's just a bad throw by Rob. In the fourth, it's now 17 6. And Ricky Williams, the Bills, the defense did a great job on the New Orleans running game early, but there's 16. Look at Ricky Williams running here, Tom. Well, and you look at the burst with which he's hitting the line. Boom. He's getting to the hole quickly, and he's forcing people to miss tackles. And then you get him in a little space with that swing pass from Brooks and, and he just eases up into the end zone after not much in the first half. Then Ricky Williams came on with 18 carries for 93 yards. You saw him do the work with that pick. I mean, with the uh, with the catch. Uh, only the tenth time in 35 tries the Saints have actually won on opening day. And Sam Cowart left the middle linebacker for the Bills with a foot injury as well. Bills open with a very tough schedule. They played stout on defense, but. Boy, they're going to need some more weapons. Key Ricky Williams and a much slight, uh, 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 quicker Ricky Williams. Much quicker, and that can only spell good. The opening day, they play Arizona on Sunday Night Football. Welcome back to NFL Primetime. The Bills and Colts in the AFC East. The Colts and Bills inside at Indy. And over there was John Fina, one of the veteran Bills. And look at Nate Clements, number one pick. Picks off Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning's terrible, isn't he? <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here's how terrible he is. You know what? I'm so upset that I'm looking at aerial pictures to see what mistakes. And guess what? He didn't make many more. Now, Tom, down 7 nothing. Here's Manning to Ken Dilger. How does a tight end on a short little flick go for 44 yards? Mr. Simon. Later in the drive from the one, it's going to be Edger and James. Now, I understand how he can get one yard. He does, and we're tied at seven. Greg Williams, in his second game as head coach, knows that the task is large to beat the Colts in Indy. Oh, it's a flea flicker. Manning, James, Manning, Jerome Payton. I think the Bills bit. 14-7 Indy. With a game tied at 14-all, Peyton Manning throws through the blur to Marvin Harrison. 39 yards, 21-14, Colts. Yeah, you take a look at Anton uh, Winfield at the top of your screen, and he what he does is squat too long, gives Harrison a chance to get on top of him and blow by him for a score. Did we say Manning to Harrison, 39 yards? Yes, I think we did. 39 yards again, 28-14, C-O-L-T-S, Colts. Now, right there, Winfield thinks he has help on the inside. The safety gets turned the wrong way. He tried to make a quick turn to get back. But again, it's something that the Colts do awfully well, the crossing route from Peyton to Harrison. Three times Manning and Harrison hooked up all in the first half at 35-17. Then and the Colts pretty much coast after Peyton threw for 324 in the first half. The Colts humble the Bills 42 to 26, a career high 421 yards throwing for Peyton Manning. He uh, threw for all the TDs, the four of them. Payton caught nine, Harrison caught seven, nine for 168. Seven for 146. James ran for 111. Peyton Manning, pretty good day, huh? The best thing about it. In a hurry. Well, one of the problems not between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Buffalo Bills. Here we go. We're going to get started. Week three, as the Bills were at home, and Greg Williams looking for his first NFL win as head coach. Travis Henry, the Bills running back, popped by Joey Porter and Brent Alexander. And it's Dwayne Washington. Now look at Fearless Price looking for, what, a baton handoff? He's even with him, but he doesn't try to tackle him. 7 nothing Pittsburgh. Arr, arr. It is Mars Buffalo's offense, Tom. Again, 
not in the end zone. Yeah, but Rob Johnson shows a little mobility here, making a play up the field. Almost gets in, stopped at the one foot line. Now, this is in the last seconds of the first. Oh! And a false start by right tackle Marcus Sullivan. And then what happens? Well, Johnson but you can try. You cannot have the penalty on the goal line. That's going to kill the coach. And then Johnson, Eric Gold's over. They go get it. It's a field goal. And so Buffalo, who did not get in the end zone uh, in week number one, scored some against the Colts, but gave up too many. Trail of 10 3 at the half. Aaron Schobel in the spot shadow. What? Oh, he thought the ball was out, Tom. Cordell Stewart, the great fake to Heinz Ward for the spin, and it's a first down. And then, okay, forget the flash. Let's go with the bust. Jerome Bettis. 30 yards. Bettis at 114 on the day. Late fourth quarter. See, Rob Johnson, I give him the night. He's trying to make something happen, but sometimes he holds on too long. And this time, Jason Gildon made it pay for it. So instead of Bettis at a 13-3 game, watch Chris Fumatu Mafala. He's a bad Mafala. Shut your mouth. I'm talking about Mafala. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? He gives the Bills the shaft with a 22-yard touchdown. And Pittsburgh goes up to Buffalo. A lot of Pittsburgh fans in that shellout crowd. And the Steelers beat the Bills, who fall to 0-3. Only second time since 86, the Bills have been 0-3 at Pittsburgh. Keeps their market 1-1. One one. Pittsburgh had 170 yards rushing, Tom. Yeah, and that's the key. Anytime you can get Jerome Bettis going, 22 carries, over 100 yards rushing, then you control the pace of the game, even though Cordell Stewart threw for just over 100 yards. And uh, they sacked Rob Johnson four times. Meanwhile... At the 0-3 Buffalo Bills, Greg Williams looking for his first win before the Bills go on a bye. First quarter, Curtis, my favorite, Martin, not a favorite of the Buffalo fans. Late kickoff, windy day, Orchard Park, 16 yards, 7 nothing. Jay Hickerson. Brown Johnson, tip, intercepted by Marvin Jones, gets in business inside the 10. Richie Anderson, touchdown catch, 14 nothing. Jets. Then, Mo Lewis. Knock Drew Bledsoe onto the sidelines in New England. Makes the hit. John Abraham picks it up. 21-6 Jets. Johnson tries to make something happen. He does this. He runs, but he doesn't get way down. And Mo, uh-oh, uh-oh. Mo Lewis hits him in the head. Pinch nerve in that. Yeah, Rob is very courageous. He always tries yeah. to get the extra yard out of a scramble, and oftentimes he takes the extra hit for doing it. He would not return, but the Jets offense did. Vinny, a screen pass to Martin, 12-yard gain. Second and goal. Martin, touchdown. 28-9 Jets, 135, two TDs for Martin. Third quarter, it's a 28-15 game. Alex Van Pelt off the bench. Peerless Price avoids a tackle. He's got Jets, not New York Jets. They can't catch him, 70 yards. 28-22. But here come the Jets. First and goal from the two. Vinny. Anthony back. Touchdown. 35-22. Jets. That's a pretty catch. An outstanding catch. But here come the Bills. Van Pelt trying to Frank Reich it. The Larry Self Centers. Oh no. Mo Lewis. Touchdown. Boy, Mo Lewis is ruined the pass. He's ruined the Bills. Van Pelt through three TDs. 42-36. Jets Buffalo over four. Yeah, and, and if the Jets are going to have success on defense, uh, it's going to be because of their linebackers. And they got it today from Mo Lewis. They got it from Ferrier. They get it from their linebacker. Court. Bills up the bye next week. They're hoping Rob Johnson will... Bigger star than he's been. Third and seven, Jacksonville trying to protect its lead. Johnson with time, throws, moves, wide open, touchdown. Ainsley battles the strong safety, ended up as the closest. 46-yard field goal to take the lead for Buffalo. He's got it. And Arians drills it. Yeah. What a pressure kick by Jake Arians. Greg Williams. Brunel, this one is.
is tipped and intercepted. Picked off by the Bills, Travaris Tillman on the tip. And now, Doug Flutie and the Chargers. And John Butler, the ex-GM of the Bills, who's still the contender in San Diego against Rob Johnson and the regime left behind and a new regime for Buffalo. They've been talking about this game since April. Marcellus Wiley, another ex-Bill. Sacks Johnson. He was fired up. A couple of sacks for Marcellus. Gives him 12 in his last 11 games. Charger possession, deep. Dump pass to Freddie Jones from Flutie. 10 nothing. lightning bolt. Now it's fast forward. Early 4-13-10 San Diego. Jason Perry picks off Rob Johnson. And he could go all the way. 47 yards, 20 to 10. San Diego after Johnson and the Bills defense kept him in the game. But Johnson to Peerless Price. 10 minutes left, 61 yards, 20 to 17. Bills within three. Flutie can only watch as Johnson tries to lead Buffalo to the lead. Nearly picked off an Eric Bold sheet. Comes down with it. First down, Buffalo. Minute 55 to go. Johnson. Running. Takes the lick from Orlando Ruff. Defensive holding Chargers. Boy, Johnson, he's not afraid to take the shot. Let's say that a thousand times. Travis Henry, is he in? Wait a minute. Did he get across? Did he fumble? Touchdown, Buffalo. 24-20 to Bills have taken the lead. Here's another look with a minute and a half. And you, you can see Henry right there stretching across the goal line. His body is still not on the ground. The referees rule with a score. So the ensuing kick to Ronnie Jenkins. Oh, those Bills special teams. They were better, but not on this day. A huge return to the 30. Foreman, the kicker, had to make the, the play. Minute 19 left. Flutie. And look at him escape. Very Houdini-like to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Diving in the end zone. Touchdown, lightning bolts. 27, 24, San Diego. And Ralph Wilson and company know that Doug is certainly capable of doing this. Yeah, you watch Doug Flutie. He's been doing it all his life, making plays, escapes an inescapable situation out of the pocket. How apropos that he would score this touchdown. And he takes the ball with him, but not so fast because the Bills have a last gas. Johnson to Jay Reemersma. Big catch in the field goal range. Reemersma bangs up. Meanwhile, on the sideline, Jake Aaron hoping for a shot. He gets one. It's going to be 44 yards. The kick is up. Block. It's blocked. And the San Diego Chargers with a run out to a 13-0 lead. They watch the Bills come back. Then Flutie wins it. Wow, what a finish. Emotions, can't even describe them all. 27-24, San Diego, 5-2. and two. And I would say in this game, if I have any voice left, that both <laughs> teams look. Buffalo wanted to yes, win, and they almost yes. did win. But in the end, this year, both teams got kind of what they came for. San Diego's a contender at 5-2. and two. They got to win. Buffalo's shown in the last two weeks that they're a different team than we saw in early September, I can tell you that. Buffalo Bills are an improving football team, and I think that certainly what we're seeing is San Diego has a game plan. Norv Turner, yeah. Run Thomason, and Rob Johnson acquitted himself very well in a losing effort and found out that Peerless Price may be a great receiver in their future. Johnson threw for over 300, but at the end... Right. Oh, Miami in first place in the AFC East. Nobody that emphatic, but Miami wins it. Now, how about the Colts? Colts were...